don't throw out that Thanksgiving Day turkey bone because we have a special treat for you. Today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making leftover turkey and sausage gumbo. And it's a perfect meal to cook when you are wondering what to do with leftovers from your holiday meal. To make this gumbo, first make the broth. The recipe for the broth and its ingredients are in the video's description. Place all of the broth's ingredients in a large sock pot with some water. Once all of the ingredients are in, add more water to the pot, enough to cover the turkey's bone by one inch. Add the salt and peppercorns. Over high heat, bring it to a boil. Reduce to simmer and cook uncovered for two hours. After two hours, discard the bones. And drain the broth into a different large pot. You can immediately cook with this turkey broth or freeze it for future use. If you are enjoying what you see, like and share this video. If you enjoy watching our collection of recipes and outdoor gardening advice, show some love by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to click the notifications link to stay current on new topics. The second part of this episode focuses on cooking the gumbo and warning. I hope you are ready to work out those arms because gumbo requires a lot of stirring. The recipe for the gumbo and its ingredients are in the video's description. Prepare the vegetable seasoning by chopping an onion, Also chop a few ribs of celery. Chop and de-seed a bell pepper. You can use any colored bell pepper. Unless the recipe specifically calls for an ingredient, I tend to use what I have and today I have yellow and orange bell peppers in the fridge. Mince the garlic. Now that the veggies are prepped, chop the andouille sausage into 1 8 to 1 quarter inch rounds. We want to know, what's your favorite type of gumbo? Let us know by leaving a comment below. Spray a large pot with nonstick spray. Add the sausage and stir. Cook until the sausage browns on both sides. Remove sausage from the pot. Reduce the heat to medium low and add the vegetable oil. Whisk while scraping the sausage drippings from the bottom of the pot. While continually whisking, slowly add an all-purpose flour. You are creating a roux. For this recipe, we want a roux that's the color of dark chocolate. This is where you begin your arm workout. Continually whisk the roux until it reaches the desired color. With the pot over medium low heat, this should take around 15 minutes. Immediately add the chopped vegetable seasoning. Combine while scraping and whisking the bottom of the pot. This should cook for around 5 minutes. Add the garlic and combine for about 1 minute. Add the dried thyme, dried oregano, 
bay leaves, and stir to combine. Also add the salt, cayenne pepper, and krill seasoning. Stir some more. You're not done yet. Put the butter and tomato paste in the pot. Also, at this time, add the andouille sausage. Stir again to combine all that goodness. Cook for five minutes, then add the broth. Don't forget to stir. Raise the heat to high and bring the gumbo to a boil. Immediately, reduce the heat to simmer and stir again. Simmer uncovered for an hour. As it cooks, skim the top and stir every 20 minutes. Halfway through cooking, collect one cup of the broth. Just make sure it doesn't contain any sausage or bay leaves. Allow it to cool for 25 minutes, then blend on high speed until combined. After five minutes, add the blended stock back into the pot, and once again, stir to combine. Add the leftover turkey meat. Combine and simmer for an additional five minutes. If you think we did a good job with this recipe, like and share the video. Also, subscribe to our channel and click the notifications link. Take the pot off the heat, serve this gumbo with rice, and garnish with parsley and green onions. I'm telling you, this gumbo is lick the bowl good. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.